everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magical Jill, and in the name of the moon, I will punish you. Punish me, moon mommy. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be reviewing one of my prides and joys, one of the best things that I own. It is this awesome Sailor Moon figure. It's by Ban Presto. It's the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal the Movie Glitter and Glamour Super Sailor Moon. And it's really awesome. This one, I'm pretty sure is version A, because I thought this one was super cute. I think I might have version B of a different one that I was going to do in another video, but I was really excited to kind of just open this up and talk about it. I got it a long time ago, back around when the movie kind of first came out. And never came to America, and then got uh, distribution rights purchased by Netflix, and we still don't have a physical, even though we have every season physically, and I'm angry. I'm really mad about it. Honestly, like I could do a whole video about how mad I am that Netflix owns the rights to that and won't just put out a Blu-ray, because like... I mean, no offense to streaming services, I prefer to watch things on my, my discs, like on my awesome TVs, so. Also, you're going to be doing more anime videos as well, especially Sailor Moon. That's one of our favorites, both you and me. You got me into it recently, and these two versions, I want to point out when you open it, you'll have to tell me which is which, but I know one of them is more like animation style, and one of, like, the classic anime type look, and one of them is more like the actual manga colors mm -hmm. as well for most of these so mm -hmm. you'll have to point out which this is so this is from the sailor moon crystal movie of course it's not from the original timeline um but it's really awesome because if you look at the picture of a and b on there to me the b one looked more like oh is there a and b right here yeah there's a picture on it the b one looked a little bit more like she looks in the crystal promotional art mm -hmm. uh however i haven't watched crystal i've really only watched the original yeah, I would like to watch Crystal at some point soon. I think the reason we couldn't get B actually is because when we tried to get these, they all sold out like immediately and then I had to buy this on eBay. Oh, no, no, no. We had to buy this on Amazon and you didn't know which version you got. Oh, It was yeah. version A or B and you said, I like them both, so I'll just get it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think uh, A is supposed to look more like the original and B is supposed to look more like Crystal, but either way, I love them both. I think they're both really cute. Kind of seems like B's more pastel. But anyway, I disassembled the statue and put it back in the box because- <clears throat> I disassembled it. Okay, he disassembled it and put it back in the box. Open it up while you're telling us. And because I wanted to, why did you tape it again? I didn't. Oh, okay. Just, just, there okay. you go. It got stuck. I'm gonna get in trouble here. Because I wanted to review this on my channel, but I didn't have a channel at the time when I bought this. So I'm really excited to show it all to you because it's really awesome. And it's one of my favorite statues that I own because I love statues. And be careful because not every piece is in the bag because the bag is segmented. So that's actually one thing that's great if you buy this the first time, the bag has different pockets in it. Uh, it's actually kind of obnoxious because the different pieces are very easily damaged. And we're gonna mention something as well because ours came with an imperfection. First of all, this is what she looks like without her pigtails. I think she's really cute with a little pixie cut. <laughs> Yeah, she kind of looks a little bit like Uranus. Not Uranus. <laughs> it's Uranus. Ah! What do you feel like about that, by the way, while you're putting that together? People who say Uranus versus Uran Uranus. When I was a kid, I used to say Uranus because I thought that's what, how it was pronounced. Um, I always thought it was really funny. Yeah. And I would make Uranus jokes to people yeah. when we learned the planets in school. I thought it was so funny. Unfortunately, that's now harassment, so you better be careful with that one. When I started watching Sailor Moon when I was a teenager, I realized, oh, they're probably supposed to call it Uranus, so it doesn't sound so stupid. When you saw Neptune and Uranus together? Yeah, so then I started calling it Uranus, because I was like, well, now it sounds just kind of stupid if I call the one gay Sailor Scout Uranus. <laughs> right? I feel like it's just a community joke. <laughs> so something I thought was interesting about this, by the way, is, and you can talk about this, you have more of a pet peeve with it than me, but that thing. The stand. I hate this thing so much. I don't even know which foot it goes on anymore. I don't remember, but it felt to me every time I popped it on the foot like it was going to scratch the foot. Oh, I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, I got it. It fits perfectly on this one. Yeah, I hate this stupid block thing, um, especially because, like, look at it. It's really distracting from the figure. And if you guys remember my Morgan video, I kind of talked about how I liked that there wasn't a stupid stand like this, and it was just kind of, like, clear supports that were made into the figure you know because she had high heels that were clear on the bottom mm -hmm. so she kind of was supported by it well we talked about how some of the amiibos know how to do this well and some of them don't too like so for example 
I remember that you can show pictures of this if you want. And some of the Amiibos have like a little clear stand that you just can't see. Mm -hmm. And then when Link first came out, he was one of the first ones. People made fun of it because it looked like it was his urine. <laughs> it looked like a block of frozen urine because yeah. they made it they made it like yellow. Yeah. And it matched nothing on the figure. And that's kind of like this. Yeah, poor Link. Yeah, that's kind of what a pro my problem is with it is like this stupid block. The fact that she can't stand on her own and they didn't give like a cute stand, which they totally could have. They could have put little holes on her heels and then put like a circular stand that was in the shape of a moon or something. Mm -hmm. It would have been super cute. Uh, one of my other problems with this, because I kind of want to run through the problems first, because since this is Van Presto and not Kota Bakaya, and I got my first Kota Bakaya recently, which was the Morrigan, and then I have some others too that I wanted to put on my channel. Um, but like, you can kind of see the seams of where the plastic comes together on her shoulders and stuff. And she's got that one imperfection on her boot right here where there's a scratch and it's just white. And, and that was not from us, that was when we opened it. So somehow when that was painted, or package that happened. Also, I don't like that there's numbers on this block right here that you can see when you display her, it annoys me. Can I point out too, by the way, I, not to hijack your video, but you wanted me in this one. Mm -hmm. I used to have a ton of the Bandai Banpresto Dragon Ball figures. I still like them. I'd like to pick up a few again at some point. In my opinion, Banpresto is the king of cheap figures that don't look super cheap. Mm -hmm. But if you take a closer look, you'll find imperfections or you'll find things like that stupid foot block that are just frustrating that if, if they would just raise the price by $10 US or something like that, I feel like they could very easily fix. And in Japan, these are even cheaper. In Japan, um, I had a friend who used to go over to Hong Kong and China and visit Japan. And I know they're not the same place, but would go back and forth. In Japan, you can get these for pretty much like 20 US dollars, 25 US dollars. Mm -hmm. When you get to the States, they start getting more expensive because of importing. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is if they would just move that price range up a little bit, mm -hmm. I feel like they could avoid a lot of those issues. But because they're known as such the cheap yet decent looking figures, they're, these are kind of like the Funko Pop of Japan. Yeah, that makes sense, they're, actually. They're cheap, they're affordable, but they look nicer than a Funko Pop. Yeah, because Funko Pops have problems with their paint, and this luckily doesn't have a ton of problems with her paint. There's like one mess up here and there, um, but other than that, it's pretty good. And I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to my figures, because if I'm going to spend money on it and I'm going to display it, then I don't want to look at it and be like, oh, I hate that one little imperfection. It makes me so mad. Uh, but yeah, I love this figure and I l absolutely love Sailor Moon Eternal. It's one of my favorite arcs towards the end of the show when, you know, she does the dream arc and then the last arc after that. It's some of my favorite stuff. This is Super Sailor Moon, right? Like this is her in her super transformation? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's Super Sailor Moon. And then I think um, the one after this is, I don't remember exactly what that transformation is supposed to be called, but we have the one of her with her wings, which is really cool. Yeah, it's in the background as well over yeah, there. Yeah, it's super awesome. It's called Eternal Sailor Moon. Well, I guess that makes sense. I thought this one said Eternal Sailor Moon too. No, this one's just Super Sailor Moon, but it's from oh, the Eternal movie. Well, that's confusing. But yeah, I really love this figure a lot. I think she's awesome. I love that it's kind of like a dress up of her normal outfit where her skirt's a little different and she has this cute little bow, but it looks a lot like her normal outfit does. I always thought she looked so cute in this outfit and I was really happy to have a figure that looked like this. Oh yeah, I love her little hair things a lot. They're really cute. I One problem that I actually have, like I don't wanna completely like change this video's topic, but in the very first episode of Sailor Moon and in the first like fight she has in the manga, she um, like cries and there's supersonic waves that come from her head pieces and then that never happens again. Why? Like why did we make, why did we make a thing to have to do with the headpieces and then they're like never matter again. It kind of reminds me of in Superman, I think two, the Richard Donner movies the, with Christopher Reeve, there is an attack where he rips off of his chest the Superman symbol and throws a transparent Superman symbol at Zod. That's awesome. And it knocks him down and he gets, he gets dropped and Family Guy even made fun of that because it's an attack he never uses again. They made it up for the movie. <laughs> And I feel like that's really common, especially in anime. Like yeah. the one-off attack that then they forget about. Yeah, it's a kind of a shame because I thought it was a really cool attack and I thought it gave a really cool point to our hair pieces. There's a lot of details on this, by the way, that uh, I don't want to get in trouble for, but like, come on, everybody's everybody wants to know. Uh, you can see her panties. Yeah, you can see her panties. In, <laughs> Am in, I showing it good? Yeah, in typical, uh, is it Naoko Takuchi? I think so, yeah. Fashion? Yeah. 
you can see her panties. Yeah, Nayako Takuchi always draws some panties. Always. There's always panties, no matter how old you are. It's a staple. <laughs> it is a staple. Let's not have it be a staple on Chibiusa, though. I don't want to see that. You do see her panties, I'm pretty sure. I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> adult Chibiusa or Black Lady, I'm fine with. Uh, young Chibiusa, I just want to look away. I do think they did a really good job with all of the details on this, though. She's got the cute little heart compact on her belt and on her bow, which is super cute. I'm pretty sure the bow one is the one she uses to transform, though. And she's got an adorable choker with a heart on it, a pink heart. And I absolutely love her bow. She looks just like she looked in, I think, I don't remember the name of the movie, but it was like the S movie or like the third movie from the original that I loved so much as a kid. I haven't seen it in years because we're finally rewatching the anime. And I didn't used to own the movie, sadly. Um, I had it on VHS when I was a kid, so like I don't really remember the actual, like, Japanese name of it. Yeah, because you had the American dub. I did. With <laughs> Serena, right? I sadly had the American dub on VHS when I was a kid. And that's how I learned about Sailor Moon. So, good little trivia right there. But yeah, that's one of my favorite movies. And I absolutely love this figure because it reminds me a lot of it. And I'm really excited to actually watch that movie in the Viz dub because I know that's going to be way better. So, this figure runs about 25 to 30 ish US dollars. Uh, which is pretty good actually for a figure of this scale is she's really cool because like I had to pay way more than that for the Morgan statue which again is higher quality but it's still a really awesome statue nonetheless and I absolutely love it the only problems I really have with this statue is the fact that she like comes apart because I like I'm always worried her ponytails are gonna fall off or her block is gonna co come off and you never want a block to come off <laughs> well especially because we have cats and so you and I worry with cats getting near stuff. Sometimes our one cat who's very fat won't touch the stuff, but he'll jump on a table near something. And he'll knock it over with his butt. Or his body weight. His gravitational pull will knock it down. He's huge. He, I, we named him Cosmo because he's literally as big as the Cosmos. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, not inaccurate. It's not inaccurate. One last thing I wanted to mention about the block that you all know by now that I absolutely hate is it makes it really hard for her to stand up. Like, you put it on her foot and then you put her down and you kind of have to finagle it to make the weight distribute correctly so she doesn't fall over and it makes me really worried that I'm just gonna break the figure. I did want to mention too I think the details are awesome uh, they even got her headband right with the cute little moon crescent on it like all of the tiny little details in her eyes and everything is just absolutely perfect it's really really well done so I think it's really awesome for the price you get it at however I think it's probably a lot more expensive in other countries especially places like Australia because America has a lot cheaper imports from Japan, surprisingly, than a lot of other countries. Because it is worth noting that a lot of times, if you look at video games and stuff, I don't want to talk on it too much because, you know, we don't know exactly, but Australia, it'll be like, instead of 500 US dollars, a console will be like 700 or 750 or 800. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So when it comes to their entertainment imports, they are a lot more than different places. So this, this price is going to vary by place to place, but this is actually called a prize figure. And the idea is to, my understanding is a lot of the times there'll be vending machines or claw machines in Japan and sometimes they will put things like this in them. Wow, really? So these are also like cheap figures that places will buy and put in arcades and stuff like that. I remember that was what they did with the Dragon Ball figures I used to get as well, except now you could also just directly buy them. I like that they actually put cool stuff in their arcades there, whereas here they have either gotten rid of all of the arcades or the arcade prizes are so crap. Uh, that they're not worth getting or they look really good but you can never win them because it's rigged. Yeah, arcades are still pretty big in Japan and they're they're really fun. They have good prizes. It is interesting but like I do think that that's part of where the target audience is for Ban Presto mm -hmm. is like cheap enough that normal people want to buy them, also cheap enough that game vendors want to stock them. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I really want to go to Japan at some point and like make a video of me going to the arcade machines and trying to get stuff like this. I think it would be awesome. I thought that with what you said about it coming in pieces, I appreciate and don't appreciate that. Believe it or not, that's actually better in some ways because those hair pieces, if they were just glued on, I highly doubt that there would be enough padding in there for them not to break. At, That's true, at actually. At the seam where they connect with her head. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, they would probably show, show up broken. That would be awful. But at the same time, you also do get seams. And That's true. Anytime you have detachable pieces, that's also why you see seams with figures instead mm -hmm. of 
This is still technically a figure, but I'm talking posable figures. Mm -hmm. You see seams because those are pieces that have to go together. Like dolls. Yeah, and it's the same way with this. Even though that piece doesn't move, you will see the seam. So it's it's like a give and take. I just think that stand is the most egregious thing. And the fact it that ours really came with a big scratch on the boot makes me angry. Luckily, it's the boot that goes in the back of her, though, so I don't notice it. That's why we never <laughs> like, replaced it. Yeah, it's also, um, it was hard to get for a while. Yeah. Like, uh, for a while, it just wasn't in stock anywhere. I guess now it probably is but for a while it just wasn't and like I really wanted it it's common now but at, at the beginning when we pre-ordered it it was pretty hard to find yeah but um, I guess one thing that I also really like about this is the same kind of thing that I talked about with my Morgan statue is I love the pose that she's in one thing that I have a problem with in statues in general is the fact that you can't put them in whatever pose you want so if I don't like the pose I usually don't want to buy the figure and I love that this is her classic pose of like uh, I, I will punish you sort of thing it's so awesome i love when she does that pose every single episode it makes me so happy i think that it's really awesome i love that she's kind of like flowing in the wind i think they did a really awesome job with this for the price point and i'm really really happy to have it in my collection because i absolutely love sailor moon and i want to do more sailor moon stuff in the future so ours is version a mm -hmm. did you notice anything that you like more about version b before we and it. I actually really like that version B is more pastel mm -hmm. and that the boots are, br are brighter. But my problem with version B is that her hair is more, I don't know what to call it, like whitish yellow, whereas this one's more like golden yellow. It's washed out yellow. Yeah, yeah. And I like her hair more here. That's, I think, why I got this one specifically too when we got it so many months ago. But yeah, I absolutely love this figure. I wish there wasn't a block, but what are you gonna do? I wanted to talk about real quick that I'm wearing this bracelet and it's one of my bracelets that I actually haven't sold yet on Enchanted Glamour, but it's one of my favorites and I'd like to post it at some point soon. Um, but I have a lot of awesome jewelry on Enchanted Glamour with like necklaces and bracelets and earrings and resin pieces with comic books in them. So I'm really excited for you guys all to check out EnchantedGlamour.com or you can go to MagicalJill.com because I own that one too. And it's awesome. I hope you love my website. It's super pink and super gorgeous and super pretty and I think it's the best thing ever. So <laughs> and anyway, I hope you guys really liked this video. I want you all to subscribe and leave a like and, and give me a nice comment because it makes me so happy and I'd love if you guys could tell me what maybe one of your favorite things is about this figure or you could even just tell me if you really like Sailor Moon or what you might like about the show or anything really. I absolutely love Sailor Moon and I love anime in general so I want to do a lot more videos on that in the future. I'd like to watch things like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and Demon Slayer and all of that fun stuff so I'd like to do a lot more videos on that in the future especially Sailor Moon videos so if you really like that you should totally stick around because I'd be happy to have you all. Anyway thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!